everybody, it's John here from vidgamiac.com. Here we are back in Alone in the Dark, grabbing the biggest of all, which is to defeat the level 5 boss. It is this giant Spider-Man. And the first thing you want to do is you want to run behind a pillar and then equip your gun. And you want to have fire bullets armed. Um, if you don't know how to do that, just pour any flammable liquid onto your gun and you should get that. Anyways, the boss guy is going to throw daggers at us and what you want to do is you want to let the pillar take all the daggers and then you want to poke your head out and then shoot one of his weak spots. And there will be on his shoulders and on his stomach. And you gotta do that three times. Then the uh, guy is gonna get mad and like blow up the room. You wanna stay behind the pillar where the white zone is and that is the safe spot as you can see right here you can't take any damage while he's doing the tornado attack but then he decides to destroy our pillar so we are going to go uh, run across the room and use another pillar and there are six pillars in the room just like any other video game you, uh, to defeat a boss you gotta do the same thing a bunch of times so you, we're gonna have to do this six times so once again hide behind the pillar make sure all the daggers take the pillar and then shoot him in one of his weak spots then hide in the white safe zone then he's going to go tornado the room and as long as we stay in this uh, safe zone we should be uh, safe And then he's gonna destroy our pillar, we're going to go run across. And I recommend going across, because if you stay on one side, it makes it uh, harder to hit him later, because he'll be further away. So, do kind of a zigzag motion, it also makes him harder to uh, hit us as well. And he is going to throw these daggers at us. And then you need to shoot off his last weak point. Now you're probably wondering, he's out of weak points right now, so what do you have to do? Now the only way to hurt him is to use explosive weapons. So you need to have a Molotov or an explosive bottle in hand, and you can hurt him that way. So he's going to do his tornado attack one more time. Once again, using the weak spot, we are pretty much safe. And then he's going to destroy our pillar again. We are going to go run across the room and find another pillar of safety. And he's going to throw daggers at us and shooting him does nothing unfortunately. I have to learn that the hard way. And he's going to throw more daggers at us. And here's me once again trying to look for a weak point. Unfortunately, you need explosive weapons. So, be prepared. I happen to have a glass bottle right here, so I am going to equip it. And then, what you want to do is you want to find him. Uh, I recommend um, letting him get close like that, because it's easier to hit him, obviously. You gotta throw and then shoot in midair, and that will cause an explosion. And that is how he takes damage. Once again, get to a safe zone, and you should be safe from his tornado attack. Alright, he's going to destroy our pillar again. Now we are going to go run across the room, and there is another pillar here. But if you run out of explosive bottles, you want to uh, look around here. There should be some. Uh, there's some in this rubble right here, and they are also in the other side. So you want to look for the corners. Um, that's where the explosive bottles are. There's also bullets over here in case you run out of ammo. And unfortunately, there's no first aid spray, so you're kind of out of luck if you need to heal. But you shouldn't need to as long as you keep moving and avoid his daggers of uh, death. Once again, I'm going to do a mid-air throw, shoot, and it'll, it will explode. And then you want to hide in the safe zone. This is, very, it, this is a very repetitive boss fight, but it was pretty hard if you don't know what to do. So, yeah. So he's going to destroy our pillar, and we are left with one more, which is right across the room. It's right over here. 
that you can uh, stock up on bottles if you need it, but I happen to have one left. And he's gonna come creeping around the corner, just gonna throw and shoot. Kaboom, and he is defeated. Awesome. And yeah, cutscene and achievement. 25 gamer score. Really cool. And that's all there is to it.